Is Tave a good alternative to HoneyBook? I like HoneyBook better than Tave. I left Tave to go to HoneyBook. I don't know what Tave has done since then, so I it, I can't really. HoneyBook felt like like it was made for content creators. Tave was made for any type of business. So I felt like you can be a barber and use Tave. HoneyBook was made for content creators, and it also had the ability to post something and say, hey, I need two shooters to do this on Saturday. Anybody available? And other content creators in the area could say, yeah, I'm available. Let's do it. So it just kind of gave you access to a whole different community as well. Yeah, I was on Facebook one day and stumbled on a lady live streaming, stating that they're hiring. I want to reach out. Um, but should I tell them this is my first time shooting something like this? Nope. You don't got to tell them it's your first time shooting something. Make them a beta client. I'm sure a doctor has worked on you. A surgeon has probably worked on you for the first time and not told you. He didn't, he didn't before the uh, anesthesia kicked in, he didn't say, hey, this is my first time, buddy. Good night. He, he just, you know, he had an expert with him and he went to work. So, um, you know, but they have, doctors have tons of beta clients that they test all that stuff out on. I guess you can call them beta clients that they work on long before they get to you. So definitely use that beta client as a, as a way to sharpen that tool. If you are doing anything with events, I tell you to go talk to event planners. Don't go in there empty handed. Take them a five dollar gift card to Starbucks. Take them a basket of something. Take them something cheap. I got so many, so many clients working with event um, planners, corporate event planners. And all I gave them was a Starbucks gift card. Let's say you spend one hundred dollars and you get a bunch of five dollar gift cards and you go knock on doors and you go talk to corporate event planners. If you do corporate photography, or videography, I'm going to give you the game for free. And you go take them a $5 gift card just for giving your time, giving them some time and saying, hey, this is what we do. Here's our business card. We love to work with you, blah, blah, blah. And you go take that $5 gift card. You put it in your hand and say, thank you. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that $100 will go 10 times further than it would on Google ad, ads and Google market. I guarantee you, you'll get so much more out of that $100 than you would if you put it into any click campaign. Cause it's going to take you five, six, seven hundred dollars to even get the ability to optimize a clip campaign where it's that target. Like it's that good. That hundred dollars in gift cards will change your business. Now, if your business is everywhere, if that corporate event planner can't look at your website and determine that you are an expert at what they need, if they see bar mitzvahs and, and kid parties and you at the strip club and you they ain't going to be like, nah, you have to have something designed specifically for that target audience. And if you have that and then you go after that target audience, then that works again. I can't tell you where to go depending on who your company is and what your niches are. That's why it's important to have your niche. But once you determine who your brand is for and who your ideal client is, it's very easy to come up with creative ways to go after that client. Hey, pause for a second. I know you're in the middle of something dope, but I want to make sure I tell you about a course over at Flash Film Academy that changed the game for me. It literally took my business from attracting mostly low end clients to consistently landing bigger clients with bigger budgets. It's called the five key steps for creating an effective portfolio that converts. If you're a photographer, videographer, editor, or graphic designer, this course teaches you how to take what your brand does well and present those things in a way to help the client understand how your brand can help solve their problem. This course isn't just about editing, but helping you understand that when clients are trying to make a decision on why or even if they should work with you, blasting them with your best video clips set to music just won't cut it anymore. It doesn't set you apart, show value, or help buyers in the process of making a decision. This course teaches you how to create a commercial for your brand, providing a first impression that will help you 10x your ability to land clients. Remember, if you can't effectively tell your story, clients won't hire you to effectively tell their story. Create a demo reel that sells the client before you even speak to them. Go ahead, click the link. Let's get started. So what I usually do is I usually, and I'm going to tell you another trick, photographers. I'm about to give you some more game real quick. I'm going to put you up on game. Take, get your papers and pencils and get ready to write this down. Find out who their web designer is. Tell the client that you want to get with their web designer so that you can provide the proper images and the proper sizes and the proper shapes and the proper dimensions for their website. Find out who their social media manager is. If it's not anybody, it could be you. Find out how often they post. Find out the dimensions they post. Find out the sizes. Find out what social media outlets they post to. How often they post. 
These are all upsells. Because the guy sitting here like, yeah, we can use a picture or two. And you go get with the website guy. And he like, finally, I've been wanting to change all these pictures for years. This picture, that picture. We need a landscape picture. We need two porch. I've done that. And I've turned a group photo into exterior shots, drone shots, head shots. I've turned one picture into 20 by getting with the people who need the images in the company. Find out who's in charge of those different things. They're putting out a newsletter every month. They're putting out an emailer every month. Who's in charge of that? So that I can see what images they need. Because a lot of times, somebody that's just needing one for a PowerPoint presentation, they're not mindful of everybody else and what they need. Your web designer is going to need 20, 30 images. Your web designer is going to say, man, these headshots are outdated. This is outdated. We need a banner shot. We need, we also need video. We need graphic. Your web developer will help you help sell what you're offering. Keep that in mind. And then you can have upsells for offering things in different formats and sizes. Another question is always have a short conversation, 10 to 15 minutes with potential client or customer in order to qualify them. Should I send an offer after the first conversation with structure-based pricing? Where do you really need to develop a strategy in depth with the client? So the goal is to pre-qualify your client, right? You pre-qualify them by asking them. One, you can pre-qualify a client by understanding the questions that they ask. If they're asking about price up front, they're not looking to get it done. They just want to see what, what, the, what it is. You want to deal with clients, emergency room clients. They're bleeding out. Doc, I'm bleeding out. I don't care. If Doc ain't going to say, well, for us to get that bullet out, it's going to be $20. And, and we're going to put a, some, a Band-Aid on it. And the surgery, you're going to be like, I don't care. Fix me. Those are the clients you want. They know they have a problem. They're trying to get it fixed. You can tell when a client is bleeding out and when a client is just testing the water. You know, by dealing with a client and understanding, you know, that the problem is first, not the price. Price shoppers, the price is first, not the problem. So when they come to you, with a, they know they got a problem. They need it fixed. They're trying to figure out how to, man, I just need to, block, you know, we can sit down and work out a price. Now, you may be out of their budget and that's OK. Like, that's OK at that point. Like some people just don't got it. They ain't got it. They ain't got it. Businesses are different, though. Right. We're not talking about people. It's not an emotional decision. They have the money, whether or not they want to approve enough budget for that item. And if that and if what you provide makes sense, which means it's itemized, it's structured. They can look at it and say, ah, this is how we got there. This is what that costs. They can take that and go to somebody and get the budget approved in most cases because their person that's, that's going to approve the budget is a numbers guy. He don't care about their project. He don't, he's just not emotionally attached to this great video for this department. He don't care. He's like, okay, you say we can make a million dollars off this and it's costing us X, Y, and Z. Cool. Let's do it. You're dealing with mom and pop shops. You're going to have a combination of emotion plus that. However, if you can make it make sense, it'll be approved. Just like if I said, you know, give me $5, I'll give you a 10. You would do it every time. It makes sense. The value is there. You know what I'm saying? Give me $20 and I'll give you a 50. Absolutely. The more you make it make sense, the easier it is for them to, to let go of money. It's how do you deliver video to a client? I do two things. I use Vimeo. And I'm going to tell you why I use Vimeo. My personal favorite, and I, you know, I talk about this also, I think in module one, because I can put a pending invoice overlay on the video after I've uploaded it. And once they pay it, I can remove it. I don't have to re-upload another video. That way they're not using my video wherever. I don't play. If you still got an invoice, you got your retainer, we're still working on it, and the invoice is pending, I put a big old invoice pending right across from it. I'm going to tell everybody you broke. <laughs> if you got to reshare it, I'm going to tell everybody your pockets is shallow if you reshare it. Hey, keep in mind that the video you just watched contains clips from a longer lecture that's available to our gold members at flashfromacademy.com. You can go to flashfromacademy.com to watch the complete lectures if you want to get all the gems and all the information, or you can stay on the channel and continue watching some of our content here. Just click one of those boxes somewhere around here. Just, yeah, you know where to go. Right up in here, somewhere, wherever it pops up, you, you know what to do. You got this.